and people, you know, one, at one point it's, a, it's not a race, it's a religion. At another point it's a race, you know, what, what's going on here? The thing that you have here, ladies and gentlemen, is a political strategy. And an economic what? Strategy. An instrument of what? Control. A means by which one can control the behavior of others. You can call it religion, ethnicity, anything you want to. But its ultimate reality is that it is used to do what? Control the behavior and perceptions of other people in the interest of the people who belong to that thing. That's all it is. And the first question you ask, and so the, the thing goes out, you're anti-Semitic. That doesn't matter what you said, whether you told the truth or not the truth, or this or that, it has nothing to do with that. Not at all. It has to do, now the next question you're going to ask is, oh, how can I not be anti-Semitic? <laughs> don't say this, don't say that, don't do this, don't do that, and then we won't call you what? Anti-Semitic. And so you, when you're striving to be what? Not anti-Semitic, you then what? Fall under the control of another people. Regardless as to whether they are right or wrong, wow. regardless of how wow. they are. I had no intention on playing this. This is really good. Submit it, you're under control. And yet, here's the people that's less than 3% of the American population, less than one tenth of 1% 1 of the world's population, who, through the use of that term and through the throwing of that accusation, can manipulate whole political and economic and social systems. Right, right. And then they're the first one to tell you that you shouldn't talk in terms of race. Okay, <clears throat> okay, here's a picture. All right, so this is a picture of the first convention, okay? This is October 15th, 1928. This is when the nationality was born, okay? Here's the here's the prophet himself, Noble Drali, standing right here, Okay. He's telling the people we are Canaanites, Moabites from the Holy Land of Canaan, right? We practice Islam. Some people say this is W.D. Farrar Muhammad right here. Some people say that. I'm not sure if that's the truth or not. But anyway, way. so here it is, right? So they did this picture. It was a classic picture. And a uh, matter of fact, the jazz musicians remade this picture. In uh, I think Harlem and then like all the jazz musicians they got on the stoop and took a picture just like this and then and then I believe the hip hoppers did the same thing for uh, for like the cover of the double XL they recreated this kind of picture right and so you look at this picture and then you look at this picture so obviously the 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 Islamic one was much bigger but but look who's right there look who's right there with us the Moorish Zionist temple of the Moorish Jews. Interesting. Look what they got. They got the six pointed star. And they got they, they, they got the Hebrew script. Okay. You guys got that? So I asked the question on Facebook. I said, question for the for the Moors. Did Prophet Noble Jarali mention anything about our people being Israelites, Semites? Grand she says Islam. He did uh, vicariously by the use of Canaanite and Moabite identifiers being specific reference to Boaz, Israelite, and Ruth, the Moabite. And Jesus was of being the true blood of the ancient Canaanites and Moabites and being identified as the Jewish boy in chapter 7. Here it is right here. And years later, the Asiatics in Spain, or the so-called black people in Spain, who practice Hebrewism, Right, who who were the you know the black Sephardic uh, Hebrews did so under Islamic rule, under Islamic rule, and so just as Jesus was ethnically a Canaanite, but socio politically a Roman citizen, the same Asiatics who practice Hebrewism under Moorish Islamic rule were socio politically Moors. Okay, what is he saying? So. Social politically, we are Americans, right? Racially, we're Asiatic, or we would be called Moors, right? <clears throat> In Spain, 
I get it. I get it. You love Jesus, dog. I get it. <laughs> in in Spain, there were many Asiatics in Spain, so-called black people in Spain. Many of them. But the the so 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 social politically, they were Spanish. Social politically, they were Spanish, Spain. But it was under Islamic rule. The same way, the same way our 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 country is under uh is under Christian rule, right? So I, what I'm trying to say is through Islam, you were free to practice Hebrewisms and see the, uh, the, 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 the Moors who were Hebrew. Some Moors were Hebrew because remember when Islam, Islam came up in the 700s, right? So many, many people who, 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 who was like, uh, <clears throat> Many people who was like who started banging a uh, 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 Islam. What were they previously? They were Hebrews. The the prophet Prophet Muhammad, right? The prophet of of Mecca, Prophet Muhammad. When he was creating, you know, what I'm saying his 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 Islam. When he put it together, he he put together many tenets, but he had to use a, a, a Hebrewism. So if we know that all of those Islamic, early Islamic people were so-called African, so-called black people, and we know that they, that they transferred from a religion, many of them were Hebrews, right? I mean, this is like knowledge, like, let's see. According to Wells, the Jewish practice of having three daily prayer rituals that to have been a factor in the introduction of the Islamic mandate, but Muhammad's adoption of the Jewish. Yeah. So let's see. Yeah. Muslims regarded the children of Israel as an important religious concept in Islam. You see what I'm saying? Islam also incorporates Jewish history as part of its own. Yes, Noah, Sam, yeah, 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 Noah's ha uh, son, Ham. That's right. So for those who are new here, I'll put it right here. That's what, that's the new word, dude. We're saying anti-Hemetic. Anti-Hemetic. That's what we're talking about. Anti-Hemetic buck breaking. All right. Because Islam and Judaism share a common origin in the Middle East through Abraham, both are considered Abrahamic religions. There are many shared aspects between Judaism and Islam. Islam was strongly influenced by Judaism in its fundamental religious outlook, structure, jurisprudence, and practice. But, uh, but because of this, because of this similarity, as well as through the influence of Islamic culture and philosophy on the Jewish populations in the Muslim world. Remember, that's what we're talking about. That's, what, what, that's what, what, what the Grand Sheik is talking about. You see, look, Jewish communities have existed across the Middle East and North Africa since antiquity. By the time of the Muslim conquests of the 7th century, these ancient communities have been ruled by various empires, which is the Babylonians, Persians, Carthaginians, Greek, Roman, Byzantine, Ottoman, and Yemen. So you're basically talking about the Canaanites. You're basically talking about the Phoenicians, Canaanites, which are the same people. So many of these people were Jewish. So w w once again, we're talking about more black Jews. Matter of fact, Judaism, where it's 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 free to, to 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 practice. Because let me tell you something about Judaism. I'm gonna be honest with you. Judaism is a dope ass religion, dog. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's 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 pretty it's pretty dope. Like, in my humble opinion, this is my opinion, and I know I'm gonna offend some people. But to me, Christianity is weak. Like my humble opinion, that shit's weak. Especially like for like black men, that shit is like hella weak. It's my opinion. Excuse me. It's just I don't mean to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, but but you know what I'm saying? That's a lot of our a lot of our brother. It's it's just it's turn the other cheek. You know what I mean? Like 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 you can you can be a sinner as long as you just repent right before you die. 
Like, come on, like, nah, it's about discipline. You need strong discipline, dog. Anyway, it's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, um, uh, there's a lot of occult uh, uh, knowledge in the Jewish religion and in, in, in Hebrews and all that stuff. It's a lot of dope. It's a lot of dope stuff in the religion, dog. It's a lot of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, uh, what is that called? The Kabbalah. Has anybody ever heard of the Kabbalah? The Kabbalah? Kabbalah? The 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 Kab the Kab the Kabbalah the Kab Allah the Kab Allah <clears throat> Yo the Kabbalah man look it's Jewish mysticism dude it's all it's all kind of dope ass shit in here dog the Kabbalah type of Jewish mysticism. Kabbalah is an esoteric method, discipline, and school of thought in Jewish mythicism. You see, all the religions have mysticisms a, a part of them, all of them. The Christian mysticism is called the Gnostics. The Christians, like the Christian, like mythicism is where it's all at. Mythicism is where it's all at. That's that good shit. That's that's the that's the that's the the tangible part of religion. Everything else is just customs. So this, it, it, okay, it, Noble Jarrah Lee, in my opinion, is the reincarnation of Jesus. He came in and he gave us the 18 missing years of Jesus. His, because remember, in the Bible, they only talk about Jesus when he was up to, what, three years old? And then he leaves, oh, up to 12 years old, pardon himself, up to 12 years old. And then he leaves and then he comes back at 30 and then he's killed. So what happened during those 18 years? Oh, okay. He went to Africa, India, and Egypt. So it's a question and answer thing, okay? So it starts off, who made you? Allah. Who is Allah? Allah is the father of the universe. Can we see him? No. Where is the nearest place we can meet him? In the heart. Who is Noble Jurali? He is Allah's prophet. What is a prophet? A prophet is a thought of Allah manifested in flesh. What is the duty of a prophet? To save nations from the wrath of Allah. Right? And then he gets, uh, what is our religion? Islamism. Is that a new or an old time religion? A old time religion. Okay. How old is our flag? It is over 10,000 years old. Which day is our holy day? Friday. Okay, here it is. Who was Jesus? He was a prophet of Allah. Okay, Jesus was a prophet of Allah. Where was he born? In Bethlehem of Judah in the house of David. So there you have it. He's a Jew, right? He was born in Judah. Judah. That's where Jew comes from, guys, if you don't know. Who is his father and mother? Joseph and Mary. Will you give a brief genealogy through which Jesus came? And then they're going to start dropping all of these Jewish people. Some of the great forefathers through which Jesus came are it's a it's a it's a, it's a are Abraham, Boaz by Ruth, Jesse, King David, Solomon. But look at here's the question number 28. Why did Allah send Jesus to the earth? Okay? Number 28. Why did Allah send Jesus to this earth? This earth to save the Israelites. To save the Israelites from the iron hand oppression of the pale skinned nations of Europe. Who are governing a portion of Palestine at that time. So you get it? So, so boom. So why was Jesus sent to the earth? People would be like, he was sent to save mankind. No, he wasn't. He was here for the Israelites. So Jesus was he he was he was to save the Israelites from what? So so we get to find out who are the Israelites, right? It says to save the Israelites from who? From the iron hand oppression. 
What what does iron hand oppression mean to you? To save the Israelites from the iron hand oppression. How, how do you interpret iron hand oppression? Maybe fascism, right? <laughs> That's funny. Right? Iron hand oppression. They're like with like uh, 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 a tyrannical government. Right? That's what I think of a tyrannical government. Why was Jesus? Why was Jesus brought to this earth to save the Israelites? Right? From the iron hand oppression. Okay. F from who? Of who? Who? Who was giving the iron hand oppression? It was the pale skin nations. The pale skin nations of Europe. Isn't that exactly what's happening today? Isn't that precisely what's happening today? It says who was governing a portion of Palestine at that time. There was there was there was uh there was governing a portion of Palestine at that time. So we can say the same thing. Why was uh why was uh, Minister Louis Farrakhan uh, uh, born? To help save the Boorish Americans from the iron hand oppression of the pale skin nations of Europe who was governing a portion of America at that time. So, so, so they're saying to save the Israelites from the iron hand oppression of the pale skin nations. Oh, so the Pelskin nations was putting oppression on the Israelites. Then who are the Israelites? <laughs>